If you've been frustrated trying to find a video editing app that's actually free, doesn't slap a watermark on your work and won't crash every time that you try to export in 4K, in this video, I'll be breaking down the three best video editing apps in 2025 that will give you professional results without subscription, watermark, or complicated setup. I've tried so many video editing apps over the years for my own YouTube videos and while coaching my students. And honestly, these three are one of the ones that my students always come back to say they love the most because they are free easy to use don't have watermarks and actually work on any device so whether you're just starting out on youtube making tiktoks or you're just tired of getting that subscription pop-up every time you try to export in apps like CapCut, by the end of this video you'll know exactly which apps to choose based off of your needs so let's get into it so the first app on this list is the one i personally think is the over raw best editor for beginners and that is in short if you're just starting out as a youtuber or content creator and you're looking for something that is easy to use feature rich and doesn't force you into paid subscription or slap watermark on your videos InShot is a very strong first choice. It's available on both Android and iOS and its user interface is super intuitive. Once you open the app, you can instantly start a new project, drag your clips and rearrange them by simply just dragging and holding. One of the things that I really love is how fast it loads and imports your videos compared to other apps that literally just lag and crash. It also supports 4K so you don't have to lose out on quality either. Now beyond the basics like trim splitting and adjusting speed InShot gives you tons of creative control even in the free version you've got filters effects transitions and animated text that actually look good you can also animate stickers titles um, flip your clips rotate them and even do things like adjust the volume per clip or layer audio and voiceover to be honest everything just works there is no complicated learning curve and even if you've never edited a video before before you can pick this up and start editing real quick now there is one downside to this app which is the music library inside InShot it is not the best it's a bit messy and it's not well organized but if you already have background music you like or you're using a royalty free platform like epidemic sounds then you're good to go overall for simple editing social media content and beginner YouTube videos InShot gives you a lot of power without locking everything behind a paywall coming up next is vn video editor and to be honest this is the app that i would recommend if you want a bit more editing control it's also free there is no watermark and it works on both android and ios and even mac and window as well so you can use it across multiple devices the editing style here is a little bit more advanced compared to in shots but once you get the hang of it you realize that it's actually pretty smooth now vn is great if you're trying to create longer form videos like vlogs tutorials sit down contents like this because the timeline actually shows you audio waveforms something that you don't get a lot of with mobile video editing apps now this means that you can visually see where to cut when someone starts talking and where there's a pause that you want to trim out as well another thing i absolutely love about vn is the fact that it supports multi-layer editing so so if you want to overlay videos and pictures in picture clips or animate your titles and stickers using keyframes then you can do all of that without needing a desktop setup it also supports 4k exports and has custom um, transitions filters effect and so much more like color grading tools as well now one thing to note is that vn technically has a premium version but honestly you don't even really need it because almost all the core features are still available on the free plan and unlike CapCut, they haven't started moving all their previously free features behind their subscription or paywall the only limit here is that you can only keep about 100 projects saved at every point in time but for most people especially for content creators like us we don't really need that many projects to be saved 
on our editing software at every point in time so i think it's perfectly fine so if you're past that beginner stage and you want a bit more editing flexibility and options without having to pay for subscription then vn is definitely worth checking out last but not the least is ucut now ucut is only available on android so if you use an iphone this won't work for you but if you do use an android and you want something clean beginner friendly editor that doesn't have watermark or subscription required you caught is a solid choice for it's you it's honestly one of the simplest editors to get into right so you open the app you pick your clips and immediately start trimming cutting or rearranging them you can also add music filters transitions and export to 4k as well it doesn't overwhelm you with too many advanced features but you still get enough creative tools to make your videos look polished as well one thing that i I really like about Ucut is how lightweight it is it doesn't lag it doesn't bloat with it doesn't have a lot of ads as well like some other free apps and it gives you just what you need to make your videos look clean and polished. it's especially great for people making short videos like Instagram reels YouTube shorts or TikToks because everything you need is just a few taps away of course you are definitely not going to be getting things like keyframe animations or multi-layer editing like you will in VN but everything that has to do with basic cuts, adding music and getting your videos out quickly without watermark or forced subscriptions you could get the job done effortlessly now these apps are perfect for getting started but as you keep growing and you keep creating you eventually reach a point where the basic stuff is just not good enough you want more control over how your videos look feel and sound you'll start to notice things like color grading transitions and even effects that your videos are missing and this is where a lot of content creators start getting frustrated because they don't know what the next steps are and how they can improve their videos editing and that's exactly why I created the edit like a pro course it's a step-by-step -step course that shows you how to go beyond just streaming clips and how to actually craft videos that grab attention and hold it and also feel like something you would be proud to publish you'll learn advanced techniques like pacing transitions audio layers color grading and storytelling even if you're editing on your phone or an old laptop so if you're ready to stop feeling stuck and start to finally edit like a pro or a professional content creator then click that link in the description right now and join the course and i'll see you in there